For today's video, I'm gonna work on the bench seat hatch. I've been kind of going back and forth on how I wanted to do this. Uh, after seeing how nasty the foam was under this middle seat. That is nasty. I don't think the foam under this seat is gonna be providing much flotation at all. I've also seen my fair share of ants coming out of it, so I would like to have it removed. doing is doing a half seat hatch here that just opens up on the side. Um, I want to leave a one inch lip on this side. I'm just going to use the speed square here and mark out one inch along the way. The lip ends about right here. Okay, so after a couple more measurements, I decided to shorten the hatch a couple inches. This gives me a lot more room to move the seat towards the center of the boat. And I wanna make sure there's enough room for this to open. So I think that this is gonna be the hatch area on this side. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and work on measuring out the hatches for the front. So the purpose of this hatch is going to be storing the battery, which is gonna be on this side. And then the gas tank is gonna be on that side. So I have the front bench mapped out. We're gonna be doing a hatch right here and that's gonna allow access to the battery compartment. And then we're gonna be doing the same thing with the gas tank. Now the gas tank is gonna be a pretty tight fit, but I should be able to get it in once I have the hatch cut out. So my plan is to have this being able to be filled from the inside. So this hatch is gonna lift up like that. And then you'll have access to the fill cap and then the fuel hose is gonna route down the side up to the motor. All right, so now I'm gonna work on getting these hatches cut out. So the first hatch lid is cut. It's looking pretty nasty in here. Pretty much what I expected. This, uh, this is kind of all falling apart. But right now I'm gonna try to dig this foam out and um, then I'll be able to get this area prepped. And then I'm gonna work on cutting the front hatches and doing the same. Get this side out. This hefty board come out. Yeah, this is all completely waterlogged. Looks like it may have been home to an ant colony at some point. Oh wow, yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about. This is, this is completely waterlogged as well as eaten out by probably ants. This looks like something ants would do. So yeah, these pieces are just, they're done, they're trash. But I was able to get out in only a couple chunks. That wasn't too bad. But this foam is completely useless. This was not providing any benefit to the boat. And I'm sure that the front seat is gonna be just as bad. All right, with the back hatch uh, cut out and the inside cleaned up and all the foam taken out, it's time to work on the front hatches now. Just as nasty. This looks like this was home to a nest of some kind. So that's fun. Let's go ahead and get this cut out now. Turns out the openings were not large enough to fit the gas tank. So I ended up cutting out the entire top of the bench as you'll see in the next clip. 
this worked out much better for what I ended up doing with the area. In general, this method of marking out the cut lines, drilling out the corners, and using a jigsaw to cut the openings worked out really well. If I wasn't trying to fit a gas tank, this would have worked out perfectly, but I decided to make things a little easier on myself and open it up completely. That's all I have for the bench hatches for now. In the next video, I'll be finishing up the interior painting and moving on to flooring and bench lids. If you guys found this helpful, let me know by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to follow along with the Jombo build, and thanks for watching.